What's up, everybody? My name's Tosh. I'm back. I'm back. I'm hungry. And today we are going to talk about what a backup is on a Vesk one wheel and how to make a backup, why you should make a backup, and we're just going to go over everything. So you've probably heard on either the Facebook groups or in a video or something about making a backup of your configuration. Um, a configuration is really just the list of all of the different, you know, settings in your board that make it work the way it does. It's the software saying how big the battery is. It's the software setting about how strong the motor is and how we make the motor work about the gyroscope and then your tune as well. You know, all those different settings, the way you like it to start up and push back and, and all of that. So that's really your configuration. It's, it's Really, when it comes down to it, it's a huge list of settings. Okay, so then what does it mean to back up and restore a configuration? I like to use the analogy of a screenshot. You know, we've all we've all seen something and taken a screenshot of it, or we're going to go to edit an image and you take a screenshot of it in case you need to go back to the one you just had. Um, making a backup of your configuration is basically taking a screenshot of everything about your board in, in the software side of things. So if I take a backup, it's going to save the way my tune is, it's going to save the way that my motor is configured, it's going to save the way that the gyroscope is balancing, and it's going to save what information it knows about the battery, so on and so forth. And then to restore that backup just means okay, something's wrong with my board or I have just messed with a bunch of tunes and I don't like it or for whatever reason, I need to go back to that screenshot and have that be the way the board is again. So to restore a configuration is really just to take all of the information that you had saved somewhere else, put it back on the board. Okay, we're good to go again. Um, the One of the main questions that you get asked about backups is whether all your information is stored when you do a backup, uh, and especially the tune. Is my tune gonna be saved? If you do the backup properly, your tune, every setting about your board will be saved, and that's why it's so important to have a good backup. When should I make a backup? There's a couple of reasons uh, that come off the top of my head, but really there's, there's plenty of reasons. Um, if you just got your board and it's working or you just got your board and it's not working yet but you still want to have a place to go back to uh, you could make a backup it, once you get your board all configured it's working great um, and maybe you want to mess around with some different tunes or something i would always make a backup before you do any of that um, if you're about to upgrade your float package or go from float package to refloat or whatever happens in the future always make a backup before you do that. And uh, finally, one thing is just for peace of mind, if you're gonna be messing with tunes or messing with ATR or any crazy settings, you might wanna make a backup before you do that in case you change a setting and can't figure out what you just changed, you can always go back to that. And then, you know, similarly, when would I wanna restore that backup? If you messed up your tune, if you just upgraded, or if something's not working right about your board, you can always go back to your backup. And really with that something not working right, it's a, it's a great reason because it's a good way to eliminate a software related issue. If you're, if you're diagnosing and you go through and you had a good backup before, you restore the backup, it's still not working, you know it's not a software issue. Or if you restore it and it's working good again, then you know it was a software issue. Well, Okay, here is how you actually make a backup on your board. First thing we're gonna do, power the board on. And usually you wait for it to make a little noise and then you're gonna give it a good couple of seconds. All right, so we'll open up our VESC tool app here and then we're gonna hit scan and scan BLE. You know, I can see that my board is showing up here. I have it named so I know, but if you're in an area with a bunch of people, I would you know, definitely play it safe and make sure you're working on your board first. Uh, making a backup of somebody else's board isn't going to be an issue, but but it, uh, you, you, you always want to be working on your board. So let's go ahead and connect. Now, 
On my board, I have what's called a VESC Express. Uh, basically, it's a separate module that allows me to connect to my controller using Bluetooth because it doesn't have Bluetooth uh, just built into it. So you may have something similar. Um, for me, I can tell because I don't have anything loaded up here about my float config or anything like that. So I hit the CAN button in the bottom right. And then we're gonna go ahead and select the controller here. It's the U-Box single. Again, if you can see float config and stuff and it loads up in the top and it, it normally does, then you don't need to do this. But if you don't see anything, you, you can check there for it. So now I just click out of here. And the next thing we do is we wait. I'm waiting for the app UI and you may either have float config or refloat config, uh, depending on which package you're running. But once we see that app UI is there, I can click into it. I can, you know, see that the numbers are changing when I move my board. I know I'm fully connected. Everything has been loaded and then we're ready to make a backup. So once we're connected, we're, we're sure we're connected. We're going to go back to the start page and we are going to under the tools section hit backup configs it's going to give you a warning this warning is just saying that you can only have one config per board uh, or one backup per board um, so this will replace any other backups you have for this particular board but say i have two or three boards it's not going to replace those ones it's it's per on a per board basis so that's fine i am okay with taking a backup of this board because it's running perfectly right now so I'll just go ahead and hit OK. This usually takes a couple of seconds and I'm going to get a notice that it was successful. If you get any other sort of notice that's unsuccessful or anything like that, then definitely try again. I would disconnect from the board and then reconnect and try again. And that is how you make a backup. Now I can ride my board, I can change settings, I can do anything without worrying that I'm going to lose my tune or my configuration or motor or anything like that. Here's how you restore a backup. So say my board isn't working properly, I want to eliminate the possibility of it being a software issue. I'm going to go ahead and hit the restore configs button. And it's going to say, it's going to warn you that it's going to restore to the, the latest backup that you've done. That's okay, I'll go ahead and hit okay. And then we just give it a couple of seconds here. And there we go. We have restored the configuration. That's pretty much it. Um, I know that this video is needed because I see people asking about it all the time. Um, it, the terminology and everything behind this is a little bit more technical than it needs to be at the time being. So, uh, you know, nobody should be feeling bad about not knowing about what a backup and a, a restore is. Uh, but Essentially, it's really just the same thing as saving your Word document and then opening it back up when you get get lost from it. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Thank you, everybody, for watching.